everyone welcome to a new sewing video now normally I start these with an item on the mannequin to show you what I'm going to start with and cut up and reuse but I haven't really got some particular item I'm gonna rework I've got a few so I don't know what order these are going to go up in probably but probably the last sewing video you saw was that green and purple tropical leaf dress I finished that last week and made a matching frock coat that video went in a vlog so it didn't have a sewing video of its own so if you want to see how I made this like fairy tale frock coat then go and have a look at that I'll put the link below but <laughs> my point is I've still got all the green and purple fabrics out from that dress so I'm just gonna make another one because I've got plenty left over probably gonna do this one to fit me it'd be really cool if I can wear the larger size one and my daughter can wear the smaller size one and perhaps we could do a photo shoot together I'm not sure I haven't planned that far ahead yet so I'll show you a few of the things I've got here I've got this um, tunic here it's got beautiful sleeves but I'm not going to use them because a lot of the fabric is damaged up here just I'm not sure if this sort of jewel like thing is what I'm going for for this one it does however have a handy zip on the back and I've tried this tunic on and it does fit me but the zip comes so high up the back it's absolutely impossible to do up yourself. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut out and reuse that bit of the zip but I'll put it much lower down at the back. What else do we have down here? I've got this green tunic which I bought down for the last dress but I didn't use it. So I might use some of this to blend in from purple to green. It has got silver embellishments on which would match the silver in here. So I might keep that. I really do like purple and green together. I think they go I think they work perfectly. And then this is the fabric that inspired the last dress to begin with. And I had so much more of it than I realised. So it's this. This is the piece I've got left. And in this light, actually, it is looking mostly purple. But there's quite a dark green in there as well. Some pinky purple, some bluey purple. So there's lots of colours. We're going to use this into the skirt part as well. And I think that will blend those together quite nicely. So I think those are my main pieces. I've got this silk chiffon scarf here, which is actually sort of, I don't know if it's, a, yeah, you can see in the camera. So it's a bluey green this side and then a sort of more mossy green this side. So again, I think that will link the greens together quite nicely. The bluey green matches the this green in this fabric really well and then the other sort of green will hint towards going through the more olive green shades and just sort of tie the two in. I've got a few bits of fabric, a sleeve here, a scrap here. Right so there we are, sorry that was a really long introduction. <laughs> I hope you enjoy watching and you know if you've seen these before you know how it works I'll speed it up chat part way through and and then show it to you at the end and if you like this sort of video please do hit subscribe I've got lots of sewing videos now building up and I intend to do quite a lot this year so do stick around if you'd like to see more yeah I'll crack on let's get on with it <laughs> I've just finished pinning together all of the bits to form the lining. Okay, here's the very early stages of the dress now. Um, I've pieced together enough bits of fabric to make the lining. Obviously some bits still need working on. Obviously a lot of it needs working on. 
so there we have the back and I need to add a bit at the bum there but uh, we've got the gist of the shape and those bits are all packed right together there so now I can start building it up which is the fun bit Okay, I think I finished patchworking together the lower layer. Lots of pins in there at the moment. I need to start attaching it all together. But now you can sort of see the shape. Oh, I've still got a gap there. That'll have to be next. <laughs> Right, I think it's time to spend 15 minutes or so snipping off all these little threads.
adding a few finishing touches now. jungle fairy dress is now finished it was a long one it was over 20 hours of work so there's lots and lots of pieces of fabric all patchworked into this one and i really enjoyed making it i can't wait to get started on my next big project so incorporated into this dress we've got the silk chiffon on the sleeves this is a viscose with the sequin embellishments here We've got some brocade with another embellishment star on the side here. Silk velvet, strands of silk, some lace, more silk chiffon. Uh, this is the fabric that inspired it all with the sort of jungle tropical plant print on it here. I love the drape on this fabric, it's really, really nice. Uh, what else do we have on here? So here's the back. We've got little tie with little bells on the on the ends to stop the shoulders from falling down. It also has little hooks in the shoulders to keep your bra straps in place. And again, more of the similar fabrics that are sort of all spread around really. Uh, we've got a satiny silk here and some cotton. This one's cotton. And of course, tutu net and it's fully lined underneath so you don't get any of the itchiness that tutu net can sometimes give you. And then because I had lots of scraps left over and I had this green shawl, I thought I would cover it with all the bits of scraps. This took a lot longer than I expected it to. But I thought it'd be a perfect accessory if you're a little bit chilly. I thought this would work perfectly as a little wrap there. What I'll do is I'll get a ribbon so that you could tie it up at the front there. I thought that would make a really nice outfit like that. So that's that. I hope you enjoyed watching the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're interested in purchasing it, please go to my Etsy link that I'll put below. My Etsy shop is called Threads of a Fairy Tale. if you'd like to have a look at the photos we take. And also, if you're interested in my clothing business please do sign up for my newsletter and have a look at my facebook page as well to keep in touch and my instagram i'm everywhere <laughs> threads of a fairy tale all one word so i hope you enjoyed watching if you did please give this video a thumbs up if you're new here please hit subscribe i'd love to see you again and if you have friends that you think would enjoy watching this video please share the link with them and i'll see you again next time thank you for watching bye